Okay, now we're gonna start on the inside. This is the main, main room here, the main formal dining room. Formal living room, sorry. This is where the formal dining room was. You can see that it was opened up and they added uh, space addition, it used to be the garage. But uh, what we're gonna wanna do in here is we're gonna want to bring some crown molding in all throughout this whole space. We're gonna take these nice, pretty floors, bring them into a dark, dark stain, um, clean up the, the windows, we'll work on paint colors and things. We've got a nice mantle uh, fireplace that we will keep in place. As we walk in through here, this is where this used to be the garage, and now the garage has been built into, and there's a second two-car garage on the back. We're going to um, revamp this room um, in the back corner here. We're looking at placing a half bath um, in the back corner. This area needs a, another bath. Seems like a pretty logical spot for it. If we can find a different one, we would be open to it. Um, like I mentioned on the outside, we're probably going to want to change out a couple of these windows. Um, we talked about the idea of possibly moving the, um, the kitchen over and um, bringing the kitchen over here and then making this into the formal dining room. Um, at the present moment, I think the idea would be for us to go ahead and just blow out this wall and Put a structure in that connects that piece here. There's about an eight by nine, 72 square feet that will go here. There'll be a wall then with maybe a metal roof or a, um, a small, um, small roof that would be used for just kind of a flat roll roof. Um, but that will take it so that we would have a set of French doors going out there onto the deck space. Um, this is what we have for current kitchen. Um, current kitchen, we you know we've got this beam here that we're probably and this this beam here we're probably going to be wanting to open this up. We may need to have a column here, but um, trying to make this a nice big open space for a big open kitchen, um, which would probably eliminate us to having us take out part of this wall here. Um, and maybe even a little bit of this wing wall here that's currently got the uh, pocket door in it. So all of that will be your kitchen, dining room, family room, hearth area. Um, gonna have a nice big space for it, a big square. Um, planning to also maybe put a little bit of a, um, a mud room um, into the area on the side of the front door, um, kind of along where this bookshelf is so that you can uh, do hooks and like a beadboard, that sort of thing. Basement to the stairs, try to keep that the same. We'll look at what we would do for a, for a tile and flooring. Appliances in here are actually pretty nice. I mean, they're all stainless steel, um, but they're kind of $300,000 appliances. Probably want to go ahead and take those and try to see what we can do to get some money out of them and move that to what we would have for budget for ourselves. So you can see the architectural details. You got the wood in here. Um, there's a, kind of an odd wood on this floor. We probably will um, look at maybe replacing this part of the floor so that all the floors look the same, you know, with the, uh, the two inch wood that we have throughout the rest of the house. This is main bath. We'll give this guy a whole makeover and keep the tub the way it is. Tile, subway tile, probably take this wing wall out of here, maybe do two vanities, um, toilet, full bath, number one. Then we have bedroom number two. So this bedroom number two, we're gonna keep pretty much as is, use the, um, use the shape. We have a closet here and we have a closet in this room as well. This is, we'll say, bedroom three um, that is kind of behind the door. The idea being that we're going to create the hallway, a four-foot hallway to the addition right through here, which is going to land right by where that window is. So we may want to move the window over and 
then flip-flop these closets. So the closet entry would be in this back corner. So you'd be coming into the, what's the closet in the other bedroom? And this bedroom would be using this closet. So we don't have this door-to-door -door problem. But this is the, this would be the entrance then to the, to the master suite. Hallway goes through and that area in the back, which we'll go look at from the outside, becomes our 300 or 30 by 20 square master suite.